it's working. Take a second right now, hit the like button, pat yourself on the back, leave a celebratory comment in the comment section down below because the Bud Light and Target boycotts are not only crushing these companies, but now a new report shows that many other companies are now dropping a lot of this diversity, equity, and inclusion language and departments down 31% since just the start of the boycotts. And that's because of all of you. It's, it's, it's truly amazing. Companies have reduced mentions of environmental, social governance, ESG, diversity, equity, and inclusion, DE, and I, or sustainability in earnings calls. They are afraid because of Bud Light, because of Target. This is why the boycott must continue. In fact, we must be ever vigilant because now they are hiding it. Hey, congratulations to everyone. Also, this will be the last day you hear about Father's Day gift boxes because we're running out and uh, tomorrow is the shipping cutoff date. So if you wanted to get a coffee brand coffee gift box for Father's Day, or if you're a dad and you want one, make sure you send the link to somebody or you head on over to the link in the description promo code dad today's the last day at least for sure the last day for custom boxes if you wanted to customize one today's going to be the last day we'll have some of the pre-builds left tomorrow but uh that's it so uh father's day is this weekend get your order in today promo code dad will save you 10 percent companies appear to finally be coming to the conclusion that going woke could in fact mean going broke, or at least see their share prices fall to uncomfortable levels. An analysis of earnings calls have seen a sudden and rapid fall when it comes to firms even mentioning the terms diversity, equity, and inclusion, green and social initiatives, and sustainability in quarterly calls to investors. There were close to 1,000 mentions of such cases in earnings calls until the start of quarter one, 2022. By quarter two of 2023, that's this year, this space of just 15 months, the number appears to have been halved with 575 mentions of these woke terms. There was a 31% drop in mentions of woke issues during earnings in the most recent quarter, compared with the same earnings call last year, according to the Wall Street Journal. In two of the most high-profile cases in the recent months, both Target and Bud Light have borne the brunt of what it means to upset a loyal customer base and ultimately their investors as share prices continue to plunge. In fact, I haven't, I haven't looked today. I know it was down yesterday. Um, looks like InBev's up 30 cents. It's up 50 cents over the last month, but down $6 of the past month. And I think Target probably starting to come back. Yep, that's up two bucks but still massively down on the year because they're in hiding on this stuff now. It appears that increasing pressure from conservative activists and investors is sparking a change in strategy. Investors want companies to focus on their core business operations rather than be, be seen doing, quote, social good. When it comes to the issue of sustainability, the electronic signature firm DocuSign with its market cap of $11 billion, announced its carbon neutral status in March 2022 with plans to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. Who cares? That's not why I invest in companies. But there has not been a single mention by the company's executives, including Chief Financial Officer Cynthia Gaylor, <laughs> of any of the previously discussed sustainability initiatives, carbon neutral status, or net zero emissions during calls. Gaylor will step down as a CFO of the company on Thursday. The company has not given a reason for the change, but insists they still invest in environmental social governance programs, regularly updating investors on their initiatives. DocuSign says they are continuing their efforts to reach net zero emissions. Data from the earnings calls gathered by AlphaSense say executives mention the terms 31% fewer times on earnings calls from April 1st to June 5th this year compared to 2022. Well, if you just look, the most recent sales numbers are out for Bud Light. It sinks 24.4% as rival Modelo continues to gain shares. Sales of Bud Light dropped 24.4% in the week ending June 3rd, slightly worse than the 23.9% over the previous week 
which had included a steep discount over Memorial Day holiday, according to data from Bump Williams Consulting. Meanwhile, Anheuser-Busch's Michelob Ultra, the nation's third biggest brand by sales, turned positive for the very first time in weeks with a 0.7% sales increase versus a 0.1% decline in the previous. Elsewhere, Anheuser-Busch beers continued to drop, although at a slower rate. The flagship Budweiser brand sales were down 7.8 versus 8.5%, while natural lights were down 1.0 versus 1.5%. So the the backlash, the boycott, is probably maxed out. This is what I said. I think 30% was always going to be the max. And that's, I mean, that's what it's just what it is. I, I don't think you're ever going to drive it to zero because so many people are just not plugged into like kind of the daily hullabaloo and all the politics and all this kind of stuff. It's just not something most people are plugged into every single day like a lot of us are. Over the Memorial Day weekend, <clears throat> considered the kickoff for beer drinking season, Anheuser-Busch touted $15 rebate on 18 packs or larger of Bud Light over the weekend. A Westchester, New York ShopRite supermarket was selling 18 packs of Bud Light and Budweiser for $17.99, down from $21.49, but shoppers could get an extra $8 rebate on the cases according to the packaging. Things turned south for Anheuser-Busch after, of course, the Dylon Mulvaney, the destroyer of brands, got together. I mean, between Bud Light and Target, these, these things are not going away. Now, there are people that it's very easy to not shop at Target. Oh, looks like we've got another story brewing here. Target stores in at least five states receive more threats over pride items. I don't, I don't suspect, I don't suspect that, uh, this is LGBTQ people. I just have, it's just, it feels weird, but, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to look into that. But I mean, Target is embattled. Now the drop, Back to the original article, the drop is mark a marked shift when companies would normally tout such initiatives as a selling point and on one that might attract investors is at least the largest year-over-year decline in the last five quarters following a surge on such topics during, of course, St. Floyd's passing. Chief financial officers, who are the ones who often oversee sustainability and diversity efforts, have also seen the mention of such topics fall. CFOs at U.S. at U.S. listed companies mentioned ESG sustainability and related matters on 30% fewer calls compared to the same time in previous years. Quote, the easiest thing to do is just stay out of the conversation and emphasize other facets of business that are going to be perceived as less controversial and more core to the traditional metrics of business, says Jason Jay, senior lecturer of sustainability at Massachusetts Institute of Technology to the Wall Street Journal. Although the companies appear to be avoiding discussions on divisive issues as part of a larger strategy, there is little evidence to suggest that they are pulling back from the actual sustainability initiatives, which are still being performed in the background. That's even worse, friends. You know, that's, that's the thing. They are literally um, just hiding it now. A survey by KPMG suggests 70% of U.S. CEOs believe their company's ESG programs improve financial performance. But <clears throat> the way that which companies are conveying such a message is now being adjusted in an effort to avoid controversy. This comes as news as Target has shed $15 billion from its market cap in recent weeks as outrage for its decision to stock tuck-friendly trans bathing suits and pride merchandise grew. Before it being engulfed in controversy, Target's market value stood at over $74 billion, according to Dow Jones Market Group. Um, uh, its market cap calculated by multiplying the number of shares by the price per share now sits at $58 billion. They lost $14 billion. Check that. Do math. $16 billion. Target is one of many Several major corporate brands facing backlash with promotion of LGBTQ-friendly items during Pride Month. Some consumers become especially distraught when they saw Target's extensive Pride line, which includes clothing for kids and clothing that appeared to be for women, but was advertised as having tuck extra room for tucking in case the buyer had junk. The company held, obviously, the emergency meeting 
this is this is what winning looks like to a degree. They are afraid to mention it, but many of these companies have not come out and said that they've they're stopping it altogether. Now, my position has always been, <clears throat> look, I don't care if a store stocks pride items. It's just another item to consume. LGBTQ people also consume just like the rest of us. But maybe not having it shoved down our throats the second we walk into every store, or maybe not having kids' items or books that are, are um, dedicated or you know, the sole purpose of the books are for kids, like Bye Bye Binary and things of that nature. But this is what <clears throat> winning looks like. They are afraid, deeply afraid. Now, they're still going to, because they're worms, and they're these, you know, they're super huge mega corporations, are slimy. They're still going to try to do this stuff in the back, you know, behind the closed doors. But it's very clear that it's working and that they're going to, these companies are going to continue to shift, move things around, try to hide things. And look, if, you, if a company wants to, wants to be carbon neutral, I think that's fine. That's great. It's not going to mean I'm investing money in them, but for some people, sure. I think that the idea, you know, if a company wants to, to do good, good things for the environment, I 100% support that. I'm not turned off by that. I'm not enraged by that. It's when they go after kids or when they do other weird, nefarious things that people actually get upset. Uh, and I guess I totally understand why. You know, it's just very obvious. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, today's the last day for custom, being able to customize your Father's Day gift box. So make sure you do that today. Promo code DAD. You'll save 10%. You'll have it in time for Father's Day and everything will be good. Link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and we'll talk to you again real soon.